Okay, so this morning I'm going to correct the HVAC return issue I have. I bought my house and I'll show you that. But I wanted to say it's uh, second week of March, Central Florida. So temperatures are 70 degrees already at 9 a.m. and going to get to 85. Got to try to do this when it's cool. But you got to dress properly. So big man with getting up in the attic and everything, you're going to need suspenders. Don't put a belt on. It's too restrictive. You got to unzip that fly all the way down. And give yourself some freedom of movement. And then also the shoes. You're going to want um, something with a shank on it. So that when you're walking on trusses and trying to lay down your boards. To, which I'm going to do to get better access. You're not wearing yourself out. Something from the head. You know, mask if you can. I'm not going to do a mask. But, and a gloves, of course. But it's a big job just getting up there. And I see that access. But wanted to show you how proper HVAC uh, uh, camo clowns dress. Okay, so here's a little primer on duct tape. Duct tape. A lot of differences in duct tape, okay? Here's what we really call duct tape. It's a fabric, uh, very thin, but, you know, it's a good maker, and it's good for certain applications. It's not really good for duct work. For instance, when I came over here, I needed to get that wire out of the way. It's just a surface-level thing for the thermostat so i just duct tape it to the side of the plenum with regular duct tape <clears throat> now we come over metalized foil tape which oftentimes folks will use to seal seams like i'm doing here or around um, the plenum or uh, some things like that metalized foil tape good stuff but not as good as ta-da mastic this difference 23 dollars a roll 50 dollars a roll now what you get with the with the mastic tape is you get this rubberized material uh, underneath there, butyl rubber tape that is uh, the best seal of all seals. So you go here, go down the center, seal that, and then work your way out. And that sucker will not leak. So remember, the best costs money, but don't waste those things in applications where you don't really need it, where you're going to cover it with like a gray mastic. The metalized tape would be just good enough um, to cover with uh, with mastic, but don't do duct tape. Also, I do have fiberglass supporting. So when I build my uh, plenum off to the side over there and uh, with, with um, these sheets and stuff, I'm going to build a structure on side there to get my return air the way it should be. Okay, so I just got down out of the attic and I just want to show you raw. Luckily, I put these stairs into the attic, but I want to just show you how tight this access is. And, uh, you know, one of the things is make cardboard template. You know, like I have an eight inch duct I'm going to be putting in this hole. So you can see I had to crawl. I got so lucky that the wires uh, were not going to be in the way. So, and then I noticed while I was up here, I've got some leaking ducts, man. So, I'm going to have to fix those some other time, but, uh, you know, this house was built in 1986. It's, what, 40-some years old, and uh, just some of that maintenance. So, anyway, I also put down boards. You, you know, you're going to do yourself a favor if you lay down boards and give yourself plenty of light. And uh, sometimes, you know, I saw guys, that everyone likes power tools, but this thing, for that 8-inch hole, that blade kicked it, and I could cut pie wedges and grab them up so that when you know I was getting dust I kind of fit this in there to see how it would fit and I went ahead and put a dust cover on it a bag so that you know it didn't go down my fresh beautiful pipe which it caught great but uh there it is there's the first start of the hole and then also I noticed look at this there's no insulation here so I'm gonna insulate that and read uh tape that and mastic all that again now don't don't go over here because that way you can't cover your access. But yeah, that gets cold. And uh, we want to insulate anything that gets cold from a warm environment because that's how you make rain. Rain is water, water is mildew. Okay, some things you can do in the garage and not up in the heat of the attic. So I'm going ahead and, and um, um, putting my interfaces in in the into the registers i like using this tape here i'm going to use that as some structure and then push them put the mastic all around there 
and uh, I'll put some mastic on those uh, fingers in there. And uh, I, I'm also going to use uh, butyl tape around here. I saw a guy does that rather than uh, squeeze out of um, caulking, simply because when you go and put your two by fours or whatever, you just squeeze out all that caulking, whereas the mastic is, is really got some structure and, and will really tighten up um, that seal. So again, templates are our friends, eight inch circle, you know, put that on there. And this one, you don't want to do an angle because you want it to drop down in there for the fingers. But I know there's sometimes guys like to put a little angle in there. Okay, uh, I got 12 by 12. because that way uh, I can't make a mistake on the doors. So they have little doors and you can put filters. Now I'm going to go with some real cheap filters because I want airflow. You know, I did an eight inch. Where's my filters? Um, anyway, I did an eight inch, maybe should have done 12 inch, but, um, went with an eight inch, a main line, trunk line. So, uh, I'm going to have some real cheap filters, let some airflow get in there. And, uh, thanks for watching. A little trick here, you know, you can barely see the line, but I can see it. So I use a uh, um, utility knife to make that first score, but it's so thick, you know, rather than keep trying to score it deeper. There you go right there. A nice, um metal blade and a holder and that goes right through and, and does a good job so a couple of tools gets that done real nice all right again so like i want to do some stuff down here not in the attic <clears throat> so uh, i've got my mastic which is uh, water cleanup so you want a tub of water you got a, a nice rag in there and uh, i like using a small trowel round nose which i use um, often so i'll generally get where i want it here I'll have gloves on and then I'll be able to manipulate it with the gloves and make a nice tight job on the other underside too. Now I'm not going to do the entire box because it's going to move when I install it and it's going to crack and uh, possibly open up some, some leaks. So all this kind of stuff here, you know, um, I'm only going to do this because that's really not going to move much. Get that in cure and then tomorrow uh, put the boxes in place and then I'll mastic and tape off. Uh, the entire box and then i'll have the attic part done thanks for watching again you know t a nice clean job and these tables are great i love these utility tables normally if you had a good table you put uh, paper down but these tables wipe up clean i've used them for years and working at table height and with good natural uh, good lighting indoor lighting and all that um, you can get a better job Okay, so yeah, that round nose um, trowel really works good because I'll tell you on those fibers on the underside, you can't overwork it. If you start overworking it, you're just pulling up fibers and stuff. So um, having that round nose trowel, I know people, and then I did finish the uh, fillet, the edge with a, a finger. Nice and clean job. I do like that trowel. Now I got them out in the sun, uh, central Florida sun curing up.